So here's an example of utilizing the coefficient of restitution equation. A snooker ball of mass 100 grams is traveling at a speed of 5 meters per second towards a flat wall on the snooker table. If it rebounds at 3 meters per second, find the coefficient of restitution between the ball and the wall and the percentage loss in kinetic energy. So go ahead and try this problem, and when you're ready, come back for the solution. So here's the solution. The ball has a mass of 0.1 uh, kilograms, converting grams to kilograms. So the coefficient of restitution is minus the final speed. So final speed is minus 3 if we're taking to the right it's positive. Divided by the initial speed, which is 5, which gets us a coefficient of restitution of 0.6. Now you can simply write E as 3 fifths uh, or as 0.6. It doesn't really matter. Um, if the um, coefficient of restitution can be taken to two decimal places, it's usually written as such, otherwise it's kept in simplest fractional form. So the initial kinetic energy is a half times 0.1 times 5 squared, which is 1.25 joules, and the kinetic energy after is a half 0.1 by 3 squared, which is 0.45 joules. Therefore the percentage loss in kinetic energy is 1 minus um, the difference between them which is 64%. So because of the collision, it's lost 64% of its kinetic energy. Now this doesn't mean that the uh, loss in kinetic energy is equal to the coefficient of restitution. Generally it's not. As you can see here, we get 0.6 and this is about 0.64. So it's usually never equal to uh, the uh, the coefficient of restitution is usually never equal to the loss in kinetic energy. Uh, and I haven't found a situation uh, that is such. So uh, if anyone does find one, uh, please contact. <laughs>